All right, so does an outdoor kitchen actually add value to your property? There's tons of debate about this. The short answer is yes, when it's done right, an outdoor kitchen can be a massive value add on a residential property. Now, it depends on what we are labeling as an outdoor kitchen. Maybe your outdoor kitchen looks like this, and this is actually not an outdoor kitchen. The difference is this outdoor space actually has more grills, more cooking options than the other one, but it is not a designed space. It is not providing additional living space in the sense that as a potential buyer or as a homeowner, I'm now viewing this as thoughtfully built in as an extension of the home. Is that a worthy home to buy or not, right? It's a yes or no type of valuation. Have I fallen in love with a home because of a space where we can have birthday parties and campfire nights and awesome meals and watch the game and have reunions and all those things, or does it not have that? That's a make or break, yes or no, buy or don't buy decision. The other one is, okay, now I really truly do have an additional living space, six months a year, nine months a year, depending on where you live, and that becomes a, a factor of kind of a soft range of value, but there is real value. An appraiser can put value on that, right? Maybe it's another 30, 40, $50,000. If that's part of an overall outside design beyond the kitchen of landscaping, swimming, and other things, you're gonna start compounding that additional value. But if you've got a kitchen like this one here, that is clearly part of the original design of the home, that's tied into the original construction, with items like a vent hood, additional storage, multi-burner gas stove, as opposed to simply having the old, you know, store-bought grill that's standing on its own rolling cart, then you're going to see a buyer respond in a much more positive way. Not only the buyer, but the homeowner. When it's your house, while you're enjoying it, the continuity of space is gonna add to more of the lifestyle benefit than you're looking for, as opposed to simply having a place outside that you can cook. I would not label that an outdoor kitchen. It's a patio. But from the perspective of value from two different viewpoints, one being lifestyle value, this will get you all the outcomes you want. It's not gonna be quite as enjoyable and, and the setting itself probably doesn't create the same confidence for hosting and things. If you're talking about access to the home, I've seen this done really well and I've seen this done really poorly. In this scenario, you can see that this kitchen space flows into interior space. I'm coming out of the back door, I'm cooking, I'm popping in and out of the interior kitchen. And that's a very simple lifestyle, you know, weekend morning kind of deal. I can, I can, I can make a meal for a regular weeknight meal because it's so accessible to the main home, or this could be dedicated to an outside entertainment type deal. If you've got that, what we're calling an outdoor kitchen, you know, way out by the driveway or on the back side of the lot, that's a lot less usable to the typical home buyer and homeowner. So these are just some things to think about as you're walking through outdoor kitchens. Now I know a lot of you are, are geeking out on different grills and things. And this video is not so much about that. Check out the rest of our channel. We have some others, but the most popular grills you're going to see in an outdoor kitchen like this are going to be a gas grill gas grill because of the speed of cooking, right? We can jump out there, fire that gas on and be making burgers or steaks within a matter of minutes. More and more as we see outdoor kitchens become a really almost essential aspect of nicer homes, we're seeing multiple grill setups where you might have a griddle, a gas grill, a smoker, you might even have some infrared, you might have some electric heat or gas heat, and then we're starting to see burner tops as well, where you might put a big pot of gumbo or a crawfish pot or something like that out there as well. Now you're mimicking what's happening inside where I have multiple ways to cook, prepare food, keep it warm, entertain, or when the weather's nice, just bring full functionality of the inside outside and really, really enjoy an outdoor kitchen. So this is something you can do no matter where you live, whether you're buying or selling, you can increase your outdoor kitchen game to increase the value of your home in two ways. Number one, if you were to sell it, what is it worth? And number two, just the value of the lifestyle that you're having in the home. Enjoying the outdoors, expanding the space. Even if you have a smaller square footage footprint on the house, you're now expanding that almost always in a more cost-effective way than if you were to have to add additional interior space. When it's covered, that's better. When you have power, that's better. Fans, televisions, all those things make it better. But the essential core space of an outdoor kitchen is a huge asset to 
uh, a modern home. And by modern, I don't mean design, I just mean current in the current marketplace. Uh, check out the rest of our channel for more on outdoor kitchens and by all means, check out the video linked here. Uh, you can see more information on interior kitchens and other aspects of a home that would add value, not only lifestyle, but also resale value. Two, three grills.